<laughs> um, but just imagine yourself back to 2007, right before the book, that, that last book came out and how we were all feeling. If you were paying attention then, a lot of people were like, well, I wasn't yet born, so... <laughs> I always forget how time passes. I'm getting kind of tired of this. Pre-publication media blitz you got. All of muggle kind under your spell. Oh, don't you know the whole world's already gone and reserved a copy at Amazon? How many more books could you sell? Now give me my book. on a broken nose Yeah, I see you Death Well, I'm getting kind of petrified What would Ron do if Hermione died? Or if Voldemort killed Henry just for yucks? I didn't know that was gonna happen I have no confidence in theories about the half-blood prince and what if Harry's brain is all for crux That was also true Oh, holy crap! That would freak itself. It actually turned out to be really convenient. I need Harry Potter like a friend who loves water, and that Saturday approaches my need. Yeah, I see Deathly Hallows in San Diego, but sales in Barbara's. It'll be like Phoenix Tears on a broken nose. Yeah, I see you, Deathly Hallows. Whatever's up the sleeves of J.K. Rowling, I bet it has to do with Snipper Brinkley Bowing to protect. Your blood pus face Malfoy But in the end I don't think it's gonna matter If Snape's good or if he's bad Because the weight of the world rests on our boy Yeah, the weight of the world rests on our boy Cause we need Harry Potter Like a friend he needs water And as that day approaches our need proves Yeah, I see you Deathly house in San Diego But the sales are Feeling sad. I know this could end real bad, but I wish it didn't have to end at all. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I wish it didn't have to end at all. Cause I couldn't care more about Harry Potter if Hogwarts was my alma mater. And as that day approaches my Like meaning tears on a broken nose. 